Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Uh, in this video, we'll be discussing some very simple topic like uh, how to mark the current direction, how to mark voltage polarities, and how to write KVL equations. So first of all, how to mark current direction. Uh, we have to take the current out from positive terminal of the battery. So that is how we draw the current, like it is shown here. Similarly, if the battery is on the right hand side, we are taking out from the positive terminal. And if the positive terminal is at the bottom, the current will be out from the bottom. So this is how the current direction is marked. Next is how to mark the voltage polarities. There is a very simple way that wherever the current touches first, in case of a resistor, inductor, capacitor, that terminal is marked positive. Like you can see this current going out, touching the left hand side of the resistor first. So the left hand side will be marked positive and the other side negative. And similarly, like here, you can see this current touching the right hand side first. So right hand side will be marked positive in this case. The important point about marking the polarity that if the polarity is already marked, then you have to verify whether this is according to the sign convention or not. So like in this case, if we draw the sign and we know the wherever current touches first will be positive, so we mark it positive. This is negative. Now our marking is same as the marking in the question, and therefore the voltage will be written directly. And since there is no other drop, so this voltage will be 12 volt. So V1 will be written as 12 volt. But in the next case, you can see the current voltage direction is marked differently. It is negative at the top, but we will follow the same technique. So we draw the current and according to current, it should be positive at the top. But in the question, it is given negative at the top. So in such a scenario, we have to put a negative sign with the voltage. That means V1 will now be written as negative 12 volt. So this point is very important in writing the equations. So what is KVL? The KVL states that the algebraic sum of all voltages around a closed path is zero. In mathematical, it is written like this, that sum of all voltages is equal to zero. Now if you see this circuit, the voltage drop and the, uh, the voltage source this, then drop here, drop here, drop here, drop here. So sum of all these voltages should be equal to zero. This is what KVL law says. Okay, so now how to write an equation. Uh, you can start from any one corner. I prefer to start from uh, left corner from here. So we go around and write the equation. Now, first of all, note down the sign that comes first. So you can see there's a negative sign which is coming first. So we'll write it as negative V1, negative V1, and then there is a positive sign, so we'll write positive V2, so positive V2, and similarly, this will be positive V3, negative V4, and positive V5. So positive V3, negative V4, positive V5, and this all should be equal to zero, according to the KVL. So this is how you write the equations. Now let's see a simple example. In this circuit, we have to find the voltage VAE and the voltage VEC. So how to proceed? Best way is that we mark the simple loop. This is uh, one loop which we can using which we can find VAE. So we mark that loop as loop one. Similarly, the second loop we can mark as loop two. And also for our own understanding, I have marked the arrow signs. So the positive terminal of the arrow or the arrow head is marked positive and the tail head is marked negative. 
Similarly, the arrow head here is positive tail and is negative. And now we can write the loop equation. So moving from here, negative 24, then positive VAE, positive VAE, and then positive 10 volt is equal to zero. And from here you can write uh, VA to be, VAE to be 14 volt. Now, if you want to take the longer route, you can do that also. You can use this whole loop to write this equation. And if you follow that, then it will be 16 volt plus then minus 12, minus 4, minus, uh, plus 6, and minus VAE. And solving this also, you will get the same answer. Now for loop 2, same technique. We start from any one place, from here starting, plus 4, plus 6, and plus VEC, and VEC from here will be minus 10 volt. Another example, practice problem 2.5, Mr. Alexander's book. Here we have to find V1 and V2. So the first thing we'll do is write the KVL equation. So starting from one corner, negative 10 plus V1, negative 8 and negative v2. So this is the KVL equation. Now we need to find v1 and v2. That is the question. And so v1, we have to now, uh, first of all, let's mark the current. v1 will be same or it is according to this current. So v1 we can write as 4 into i. Because this current touching here will make it positive. But the current touching here will make this end positive, which is marked negative, and therefore V2 has to be written with a negative sign. Let's see. So this one, according to current, it will be positive here. And so when we're writing V2, we'll have to write it with a negative sign. So V1 is I into R, I into R or I into 4, 4I but V2 will be negative I into R, so it will be 2I. Now plugging in these two values in this, we can calculate current I, so plugging in current I will be 3 ampere, and now putting in the value of I in this and this, we can find V1 and V2. So V1 is 4I, 4 into 3, 12 volt, V2 is minus 2 into I, minus 2 into 3, so minus 6 volt. So I hope you have been able to follow this. Please let me know through your comments. Thank you.